Let's see here. Glewen is outside Dunfast in the Witch Shores. He wants to investigate his homeland with you, Horn and Corridan. He's concerned about the home in which he grew up in. Wants to see what has become of it. Looks empty. So we shall go together to investigate Dunfast. What has happened here? This is Book 10, Chapter 7, Unnatural Winter. If this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Join our Discord. Links are down below. Yay. Onward into Lord of the Rings Online. I was born in Dunfast many years ago. What has happened to the village I remember? It looks much as I remember it, but where are all the people? Let us walk along the village and see if anyone remains who could tell us what really happened. By the way, I forgot he has like a Scottish accent. When I left Dunfast, I was a young man, Telemar. So much of my life was ahead of me. Look, over here. Someone's disturbed these sacks. Do you see anyone? I think we are alone. I am not so certain. I feel as if we are being watched. I feel eyes on us, Telemar, but I cannot tell if they be hostile or friendly. Stay on your guard. Okay. This is a really cool looking village, by the way. Kudos to the world building team. This is the house of my childhood. Was it always this size? It seemed much larger to me then. Ah! What have we here? What have you found, Horn? I think we have found the location of our mysterious watcher, Telemar. There is someone hiding in this bush. Be ready for anything, and I will seize the person before he can pose a threat. Be ready. I am going to frighten our watcher out of hiding. Careful, Horn. It might be an orc. It may be a small orc indeed to fit inside that bush. I'm ready for anything. It's a shrew. He jumped at it and it ran off. <laughs> Just give me a hand, Telemar. It is better to be safe than to bruise one's dignity a small amount than to be surprised by some dangerous foe, is it not? This time it was a shrew. Next time it might be a hidden enemy. Perhaps Corridan can flush the next Watcher out of hiding, and I will be the one laughing. You sense someone staring at the four of you. Hmm. Aha! <gasps> it's Nona! Nona's back! Yes! Nona stares at you with haunted eyes, a look of surprise on her face, and horns, oh, horn. He's like, Nona, you came back! You must have tracked us for many days to find us in the Wildermore. Nona says, I did not, Horn. I did not look for you. Wait, Nona has a Scottish accent, too. I did not know you would be in this village. Or an Irish accent, sorry. I came here for supplies. We have enough to spare. I cannot travel again with you, Horn. Why do you say that? There is a city to the north. I found people there dying in the snow. I brought them safely to a cave in the mountains. They are still too weak to survive on their own. I came to this village to steal food and supplies for them. I cannot adventure with you any longer. <gasps> when they are stronger... I will promise nothing, Horn. I am sorry. Poor Horn. Nona, it is good to see you again. How can we help the people in your care? I have been looking for root vegetables like the ones of Dunland. Telemar knows them. They have curative properties. I need to get back. Nona, you left your brother's sword with me. Let me return it. It deserves to be with you. It, I know it. It desires, sorry. Horn. Please keep it. I am Watu's ghost no longer. 
this is pretty epic. I did not expect that Nona was going to show back up during this quest line. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little, um, get a little emotional right now. Because she totally left Warhorn, broke his heart. Hopefully they get back together. <laughs> this is the woman who has taken Horn's heart from him. He's spoken of her a great deal to me since we have been journeying together, but not once did he mention she was a Dunlinian tribeswoman. And she came to this town, the town of my childhood, seeking to steal its goods and provisions. Glowenwin shakes his head. Ah, I remember what it was like to be young when blood and passions flared in springtime. I'm not fit to judge them. If Horde misses her so, I hope she will reconsider her dismissal of him. Corden says, One look at Nona's face told me she had not been prepared to see Horn and Dunfast. She has not yet resolved her feelings for him. Caring for the injured folks she mentioned may have caused her to delay in resolving her thoughts, and perhaps it is so difficult a riddle she needs more time to untangle the solution, even without the distraction of responsibility. Horn may appear inconsolable, but he need not despair. I have not given up on our Dunlin and Firebrand, and neither should he. I don't understand, Telamar. It's been days since I last beheld Nona, and my affection for her has only grown during that time. The fondness she felt, me be, felt for me before we came to Eowyth, has it gone? Did I imagine it? I cannot have. Horn is greatly distressed, but you have no easy words of comfort. Oof. We've completed the instance in Unnatural Winter. That's, that's, that's rough, Horn. That is, that is pretty rough, man. You must think me a fool, but you are kind not to say so. This is not how I imagined this day, Telamar. I thought no one would come back to my life and all would be as I wished it to be, but this is not what I wanted. I am more confused now than ever. This is not how love works in the songs, Telamar. It feels as if the unnatural winter that grips this land has cooled Nona's heart as well. Poor guy. He's feeling it. It's, uh... I have no easy words, man. No easy words at all. Be that as it may, that's gonna be where we wrap up this individual video so don't forget if you're watching the live stream will be continuing but if you're watching these in episodic format don't forget this is where you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get updates like this in the future join our discord and gaming community links are down below and it would be awesome if you support the channel with a membership or you can head over to patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits where my wife and my brother and i are building the world of the weave in the void both of those places you can support for as little as $3 a month. It's a great way to say thanks for the content you consume here on YouTube. Hopefully I'll see you in the next episode and over in Discord as well.